Hey guys, I'm Erin with OnlineLabels.com and today we're gonna learn how to get started using Maestro Label Designer. So let's start on the login screen. You can click create an account to log in if you don't already have one. Enter your email, type in a password. In the activation code box, if you have an activation code from a prior purchase, you can enter it here. Otherwise this box is optional so you can come back to it. If you have any questions on this, we have an article on activation codes, so you can click on that here and then agree to the terms of service, of course. You can also skip sign in and start designing if you wanna log in as a guest. When you get to the home screen, you wanna create a new label, so click on that big square. That'll take you where you can search for labels, type in the size you're looking for, or if you know your product number, you can enter it there. Make sure standard design mode is selected, and then you get to the fun part. So on the left, on the design toolbar, you can add text, shapes, in the images tab, you can switch between images you upload and clip art that's pre-selected for you there. Or use the multi-design tab if you wanna add multiple designs per your sheet of labels. If you have any questions on that, click on the tutorial below. That blue bar is your menu bar, file, save, export, things like that. You can also click on the import tool if you have a previously saved design in Maestro Label Designer that you wanna import onto your existing label. The view is where you can change your background color. Just select that little bubble and then pick a color that suits you. And that same menu is where you can change your display settings as well as rotate your label if you want it to be portrait or landscape for designing. The tool menu is pretty cool. We've built in a mail merge feature as well as a barcode and nutrition label generator. So if you wanna add any of those to your canvas, that's your place to go. The print menu is pretty standard. You can print at home, order them custom printed from us. Use the alignment wizard if you're having printing issues or go to page setup to change your bleed and margins, things like that. Below that menu bar is your object toolbar, so you can paste, align, arrange the objects you've placed on your label. And then when you're ready, go ahead and click that orange quick save button or go to file save to save your design. Best of luck creating your labels, guys. We hope this helped you get started in Maestro Label Designer.